Well, when I think about some of the stuff that I've seen just in the press about you with, uh, you know, because I'm I'm a survivor of um, sex abuse. I was molested. And I know that you went through a similar experience and it came out on national television. My understanding is it came out without your knowledge of it yes. coming out, which yes. is re-victimizing somebody over again. Um, and I know you're under construction, but do you still think it's, I mean, you, of course it's not okay that you were betrayed, but who is to blame for that? And do you forgive them? Cause I, when I feel victimized by my family till this day, they literally, I just cancel them, whether it's network, family, whoever, if you victimize me, you're out. Do you, are you at a place where you've worked on yourself to accept that that happened and you forgive them and move on? Or do, are you still hurt over that? Oh, um, it's hurtful. Now you have to think about it. And I keep saying it started off with my job because I know that no one wants to believe that. <laughs> But you have to understand when that happened to me, it doesn't matter who said it, who did it. I was at fault. And those things are not supposed to happen when you're at work. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? And so it doesn't even matter to me who said it. It doesn't even matter to me that I feel like um, I was sold out for a good moment for, for viewerships. The responsible aspect of it to me is to have known that, you know, I've been living with this secret for a long time and I did nothing about it. I didn't do the work. Even when I was in my therapy sessions, I've never brought it up. I just pretended like it didn't happen. And that's where I just have to put on my big girl panties and say, you, you did nothing about it. I, I was just like everyone else. I, I ignored what happened to me. And when it was a safe place, when I was in a safe environment with, you know, as my therapist, I, I should have mentioned it. I should have said something. Had I talked to, to, a, to a counselor or my counselor, therapist at the time, about the things that was happening, when that happened to me, I would have had the tools, come on, <laughs> to work through that properly. And it wouldn't have, my life wouldn't have started to spiral out of control as it did since that day. Do you get what I'm saying? Because my life started to spiral out of control even more since that day. That was the mm -hmm. first time I contemplated suicide was that day mm -hmm. from my job. But at least, but at least everything that has happened has transpired in a way that has built it up for you to be able to work through it, right? You've been forced to deal with it now. Yeah. Um, the, the fam, it was a family member, correct? Um, I would have to say, because who, you know, Ayanna said, not, but you know, like somebody had to tell her, but she right. didn't have to say it either. So, you know, tomato, tomato. Would you... Do you think you can get to a place where you can have a conversation with Yanla about it? I don't think that is necessary for me. You know, um, I'm not angry with her. I just don't understand why. It's almost like going to a therapist um, and you trust that person. And in front of everyone, they divulge your innermost, darkest secrets. Do you understand what I'm saying? How would you feel? You know, I don't think anger would be the right word it is devastation and then to be talked about so negatively afterwards like you're not supposed to have a feeling about it you know what i mean as a therapist you know these things you know these things are wrong it goes against every code period you know um but like i said before that, that's not my job i can't funnel that out for her you know i can only um work on myself and make sure that I have the tools to move forward to be the best Tamar possible. Listen, um, Jason, I am not going to let anyone stifle my growth any longer. I'm not going to let anybody hold me back from nothing that I've worked hard for. Um, and I'm definitely not going to hold myself back. And holding myself back would be holding on to each and everything that I felt victimized about. And I am a survivor, not a victim. I'm a winner. And what winners do, we win. We figure out how to win, and that's what we do. No, I, lo I love that. I love that. So have you found out which family member told your business, and have you forgiven them? Nope, don't care. It's not my problem. Wow. 
Really? No, it's not my problem. It's not my job. It's not my job. Damn. That must be good therapy because um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you betrayed, like, the whole, whoever was involved. No, I couldn't have done it. But, okay. Like, what are you going to do? Beat up the world? You going to beat up your family? Like, what are you going to be mad I mean, every single day? And, and go I back? mean. There's nothing that's going to bring me to that dark place. And I'm not going to let no one bring me back to that dark place. So, what am I going to do? Relive that day every day and miss the rest of my life? No, I'm not going to do that. You have to right. pick the pieces and make the decision to move forward. Life is forward. Had something happened to me that day, guess what would have happened tomorrow? Right, right. But don't you? <laughs> but but don't. But 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 did you give yourself the closure on it then? Because you to get closure, you would have to say, for me, I'm closing that. It happened. I'm not going to deal because. You're still moving around people who somebody in that world betrayed you. Yeah, well, forgiveness is not for the other person; it's for That's yourself. That's true. That's true. You know, and you don't necessarily have to be in somebody's face. Like, you did, you did that, and you did that, and you know they did that to me. And that, no, no, that is living in that moment. You have mm. to move out of the moment to move towards your destiny. That's it. That's and that's going to be a quote somewhere. Okay.